Oh guys, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. This is you too young for this, and this is the finale, guys. We're going to be facing off with Percival Tachyon, bringing him down and saying goodbye to the Kragmite invasion. So we shall do this. Alright. Need to grab some more weapon apparent, uh, ammo, apparently. The don't want us to actually go in without us going up here. So, final battle start. With their city decimated by my enforcers, your race took refuge behind these walls. They believed if they left this dimension, I would leave Polaris unscathed. <laughs> You're lying! Lombaxes don't run. Is that so? Dimensionator! Find the Lombaxes! Dimensionator and his infant son. I took great pleasure in destroying your father, Lombax. Pity he sent you to Solana before we could meet. I offer you this one chance. Go home. Join your race. Or stay and suffer. If I leave you with the Dimensionator, no one will be safe. Not the Lombaxes, not my friends. I'm not going anywhere until it's destroyed. Typical Lombax. So noble, so courageous, and so very dead. No, no, no! You didn't say the magic word! It's you that are going to be dead! Because all the weapons belong to me, and you shall die from them. Anyway, this first phase of the boss fight, not too terribly uh, interesting. Just sit there and dodge all of his attacks, and yeah. You know what? I'll th throw in a little bit of Rhino that we got last time. You were right. Wormhole devices are dangerous. What? Oh, come on. It's not like one of those hollow films where you think the guy's dead and suddenly... <laughs> no. What have you done? You ruined everything! We are so screwed. Yep, that we are. But anyway, second phase of the fight. Um, yeah. yeah. A little bit harder than the... D Holy crap! Even with the best armor in the game, you're still... I think there's only, you can only take, like, two hits in this thing. You know what? Leech Bomb! I need health. Badly. Oh! Enough of you and your friggin... Alright, that's good. That'll be good. Anyway, enough of this. Just a nano swarmer and a couple of friggin' death blades. Doom blades to the face. Ow, frickin' hurling asteroids right into my face. That is not fun at all, Tachyon. Oh, hello. There should actually be some boxes in here. Why the crap are there no boxes with health in them? This is not fair, Tachyon. Alright, Judicator. Ow. 
fart. Alright, so uh, hopefully let's go ahead and try not to die this time. Um, can we actually hit this guy? Or just, yes, thank you. Come on. Don't do this, Tachyon. Hey, I jumped over that. But yeah, let's try not to die, Ratchet. Oh, you need to be ready. Frickin oh, crap. This attack. Yeah, this is kind of like his third phase. And for some... Yeah. This attack is like almost impossible to avoid. <laughs> Alright, let's try that one more time, Azimuth. Or Azimuth. What the crap am I smoking? What? Holy crap. How much damage did you take off on me already? Holy crap. Alright, finally. Die, please. Will you die? No. of the craggy might. F fear me and yeah, yeah, what not, for I will rule the universe. <laughs> Die, crack my feet! <laughs> Will you two be careful? Krog's head is a microcubit away from popping off. Do you think he was telling the truth, Clank? About my father? about my purpose? I detected no lie in his voice, but I believe your purpose has already been filled. You vanquished Tachyon, something even the Lombaxes could not do. Thanks, Clank. Don't look at me. You said it was broken. Are these the zone? The time has come, son, to learn who you are and who you have become. Let. Him. Go! It is time to understand your purpose. It is time to come with us. Yes. Time to come with you. Clank!
Oh, well, what do you guys think about that? <laughs> I like it. It's a fun game. And until the crag mines come. But eh, it's it sets the story, sets the stage for uh, one of my favorite Ratchet and Clank games. So yeah. And I'll give you a little bit of background on uh crack in time. Now I am planning on doing the whole future trilogy. So this will probably be my first time that I'll do a series of games. I mean, I was planning on doing a series of games with Donkey Kong Country. I might go back to that. But probably not right away. There might be a game in between this one and a quest for booty. So, you know, take a little break from Ratchet and Clank. Been doing Ratchet and Clank, you know, up. I've just been trying to trying to come up with the Ratchet and Clank storyline and you know it's a fun series I it's funny I like the humor of it I like to actually go around and destroy stuff so uh, I have no idea what game will be next I might just go back down to two games for a while just uh, finish up Grand Stream Saga and get a little bit further into Fallout 3 I don't know, but, oh, let's see, Quest for Booty, uh, you don't really need to play it in order to go from this and to straight, and straight to a crack in time, but there's one part in the crack in time that actually does reference Quest for Booty, which, you know, if you're actually going from this game to a crack in time, you go to that part, you just... It, it sounds a little confusing, but unless you played the Quest for Booty, you'll under, you won't understand what that reference is. So... Yeah, that's why I'll do Quest for Booty first. But... Yeah. Interesting. Clank is gone. The crap is Ratchet gonna do with his buddy? Oh, well. Time to search for Clank, I guess. What the crap Zony's gonna do with him? I have no idea. Why did they kidnap him? Eh, it won't be a while before we find out why. But, eh, where do you go? What do you do? Anyway, I think it's a pretty darn good game, especially this is, it wasn't a, uh, re uh, release date title. It, was, it wasn't a release title, it was I think it was came out a year after the PlayStation 3 had already been out on the market. Or a couple of months anyway. So, yeah. I don't know. Kind of like it. I'm just repeating myself, so. Hope you guys had fun. I, I had fun playing a game for you guys. First time I actually got all the gold bolts. Uh, there might be one or two bonus episodes. I don't know. I'll let I'll let you guys decide if you want me to show off the costumes or not. Um, there's also a, a bonus, not a bonus, a uh, secrets cheat menu thingy that you could go into and do stuff. Like I said previously, it's not game-breaking. It doesn't give you unlimited health or unlimited ammo. It just basically changes uh, Ratchet's size, changes his weapons, changes the size of enemies. So it's just kind of, you know, cosmetic stuff. Uh, and personally, I kind of prefer the original look of Ratchet and Clank better. Or, well, anyway, this look of Ratchet and Clank. That's, I really don't go around and play with the cheats on that. They're, they do have a couple of trailers that they uh, released of that. Or, really, a couple of trailers in that cheat menu that you can go look. And how you unlock certain cheats as you go around 
go around and collecting skill points. I think I only got like 25% of the skill points in the entire game. Yeah, they're kind of a little difficult to get, especially if you're if you don't know what they are and what the requirements are in order to get the skill points. So, yeah, I am not going to show every single skill point there is or explain every single skill point. I would take way too long, number one. And number two, I think it would kind of get boring after a while. Although I do like, there is one one cheat that I do want to get and do want to try out. It's mirror levels. So basically it takes the whole entire game and mirrors it. Story stays the same, but you know, if and uh, when you get it, you're so used to the game, to the layout of the maps being one way, and then all of a sudden it changes directions. It basically does what Twilight Princess did. If you played the GameCube version and then went to the Wii version of uh, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, which is actually pretty interesting. I played both versions and I beat beat both versions of uh, Twilight Princess. <laughs> and I personally I like the Wii version better as far as the control scheme goes. But anyway yeah I think I'll just let the credits roll on out for now and I shall see you guys on the flip side. This is UT Young for this signing off, saying keep things frosty.